<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. Huh. Alright. So I ended up recording a little bit of this the other day, actually, but I don't know. I just didn't like the way it turned out, so I'm just gonna do what I did again. So yeah, I'm a couple levels up of the last time when we left off. Which, we left off last time we did uh, the Dark Orb quest with Artix, and that was a fun time. I enjoy that quest line quite a bit. Not gonna lie. Oh, I gotta, I gotta hide all that silliness. Uh, yeah. Let me turn my volume down real quick too. So the quest line I plan to tackle today is. Um, yeah, we're not. Not an orb quest, because I don't feel like it. Uh, we'll go to Nethera, uh, Warlick's apprentice, as a quest line for us. You know, so we're gonna do that one. Go ahead and get that. Uh, oh, I leveled up between now and the last time that I played. I need to go to uh, train my stats. My bad there. Wasting all of the time unnecessarily. Mm. Yeah. I may end up doing more than one like major quest chain in a row for this though for this game though because usually I like I usually do a quest line here then record another game and then oh I totally neglected to do this before too we're gonna just dun, 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 dun. got two left strength and dexterity I guess yeah All right, cool. But yeah, usually I like record a quest for this and then, you know, go on to recording whatever I do next. I usually just use this as like a stopgap between things because I think that's a good way to break it up because I could play this game forever if I don't and I could see myself getting burnt out if I do that. But, uh, But I might. I ordered a capture card, so it's like, you know, my options to do things for this, for recordings. There are more, so that there would be more options. Wow. Can't. I cannot words right now. <laughs> so I ordered a capture card, but I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna actually record on that yet. So yeah, all these are already done because I them already, but one of my duties as Warlock's Apprentice is to make sure that his potion and reagent shelves stay stocked. Have you seen the inside of that tent? It's enormous. There's stuff everywhere. It takes me forever just to track down what he uses, not to mention what I borrow. His roommate doesn't help either. Those dirty sock monkeys are disgusting. I need you to go into the definitely not haunted and in any way woods to the west and gather up some reagents for me. Just look for anything glowy. I'll even help you out. I'll take or borrow Warlick's crystal to let you know how many are left as you gather them. I'll stay here, of course. Of course you will. Yeah. All right. That's a good start. We only need two more plants. Um. Let's get going. All right. These stupid little minx fairies here, they're not much of a threat, but if you don't like kill them before they're unstunned here, 
they like to bust out full heels every now and then. And that's just not fun. Two more plants. I thought it was more than that. Uh, that thing gives you a neat little item if you go up to it. You know, you can buy it in multiples of ten. I can go into the inventory and show you. Because I ended up getting one of them while I was... Yeah, here it is. Dagger of the Amulet. Nice little fire dagger. It looks like a sweet dragon wing. It's yeah, I like the way that looks, and we will definitely be making use of that when I get to level 20. Which will be soon. Got a level and a half to go. It'll be nice to have when I hit, like, the Ice Orb quest. Am I doing that one next? Alright, those don't count as glowing plants, those are just heals. There might be one over here. I just did this the other day and I don't even remember where the plants are. That's silly. Alrighty. Oh, that's one of them right there. I didn't realize I have the final strike now. Sweet. It's a sweet little combo maneuver. I'll show off like the full lift. There's just a sword chilling out over there. That's weird. I'll show it off in full here in a second. Here, bam. There's a nice little bit of damage there. I thoroughly enjoy it. Found broken sword, 15 bonus gold. An old broken sword is stuck into the ground here. While it's no longer useful as a weapon, the metal is worth some gold. Oh, okay, so I think it was around this screen right here, this one, last time I played. There was just a candelabra chilling out right about there. And I was all befuddled as to why there was a candelabra there. I didn't understand. It turns out it was just a random candelabra. It gave me some bonus experience when I got it. Or maybe gold, I don't remember. just seems like a random base too. There's a whole bunch of random objects that you could just uh, pick up for extra goodies in this one, see, in this quest it seems. Dusty urn. Sweet. Alright, it doesn't look like there's any thing over there. Oh, I found all the reagents that Mithera needed. Phantom Band, we'll keep it for now. Do that since it's easier than stepping on the pad. not fair. It's not fair. Warlick is taking too long to teach me his magic. I need to have his powers to unlock my own. 
unlock your own. I'm grounded and my dragon magic is bound. I'm allowed to learn human magic, but Warlick is being incredibly slow to teach me. He has incredible power. I know he has some kind of secret that can remove the bind on my magic. Shouldn't just wait. <laughs> I mean, if you're grounded, dude. She is not the kind of dude or kind of lady you want to reason with, man. No, it's been 200, 200 years. It's not fair, and I want my magic back now. I see you've definitely learned your lesson in all of this time, haven't you? Wait, you're 200 years old? I'm half dragon, remember? I'm actually... If you actually need me to translate it, I'm about 17 in dragon years. Oh boy. It's all... It's not fair. It all started when my parents went out and wouldn't take me with them. And you're just holding on to... Holding on to this grudge. This grudge that apparently started when you were like 10. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm sorry, dear, but you cannot go if we're having spe a special meeting with one of your father's friends. It's not fair. And now, my dear, this meeting is about your future. My friend has sent word he wishes to take you as his apprentice. I want to go, I already, or I don't want to. I already know how to do magic. Yes, and it took forever to chase down all the children that you turned into those little green things and make them human again. I'm not sure how we... I'm not sure we got all got them all. All that trouble for you to build a box for it. <laughs> Their parents are still complaining about them stealing boxes. <laughs> so, I guess Natheris, the reason that Sneevels are a thing. I forgot about that. <laughs> I still don't have my fort either. I'll just have to make more of that stuff later. Oh no. <laughs> That'll be good, my dear. No magic in the house, and please leave your father's things alone. <laughs> I'm a big girl, I know what I'm doing, besides I have to have fun somehow. I can play with Dad's alchemy stuff as much as I want, and they'll never know. I just have to wrap the bottles and make this stuff happen. Alright, so... Unfortunately here... Nathera... You see, things only have 9 hit points, but she also only hits for two damage. So, this quest is a little tedious. Oh yeah, and they hit you for like, regular damage. So that's just annoying. Yeah, so, look at that one. We do at the very least have some interesting, like, like plus 80 block, this barely even helps. Still does like 62 damage there. I think this thing may potentially kill me. Ah. Uh. That's annoying. Have to look at four more. Heal, I guess. Phantom Band. I can't equip any of this stuff because Athera doesn't allow to have my stuff. All right, at least that thing's immobilized by kick. Oh wow, I hit it for four. That was relatively painless. Ow. Two more. I don't suppose there's any like uh, healing item in the next room, is there? No. Cephalorachnid. It's a funny name for it. Mobilized by kick. We'll just hit it with energy. 
Ooh, that was close. Alright, we just need to kill one more thing here. Cephalorana the cephalorachnids seem to be easier to kill. So, if I can pull one of them. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Honestly, I've been living on if it hits me, it's game over anyway. So, I'm not, I'm not too bothered by being stuck on one HP here. If I could just... Uh... Alright. Two, not one. Thank you. Come here right now. Uh, Thera. Yes, mother? <laughs> I love this. It amuses me how she can take human form, but for, I guess, reasons involving uh, nutrition, she has to eat as a dragon. <laughs> it's just this entire chicken cow with the fear of the avatars in its eyes. And the dad just has an egg. What have you been up to, young lady? Nothing. Now, oh, my dear, don't you have something to tell us? I didn't do anything. We can smell the fumes of your father's alchemy lab when you be walked in. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah. Uh, it's never a good thing when you get caught playing with your uh, parents' alchemic substances. I wanted to go. You should have let me go. Young lady, that's it. You're rounded. No dragon magic for the next thousand years. Oh, man. <laughs> She's only, she's got 800 more years on that sentence. Mom. Dad, please. You heard your mother. Now sit down. It's time for dinner. Your mother picked it up specially, especially to celebrate. Cluck, cluck, moo. <laughs> oh, I love this game. In a few years, you're going to be taught by one of the greatest mages I have ever known. Warlick. It's 200 years later. And Thera wants to be able to use her magic now. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna quickly heal in potions there, because otherwise my uh, potions won't come back. It's elementary. I was excited when I first met Warlick. He promised to give me my powers back. I still don't have them, though. I'm tired of running his errands for him. It all started the very first day I got here. Nathera, welcome. I'm very happy your parents agreed to let you become my apprentice. Your potential for magic is great. Thanks, does that mean I can use my magic? In due time. If you do well in your studies and the tasks that I assign, I have the permission of your parents to restore some of your natural powers. Good, I should have my magic back soon then. How hard could this stuff be? I have an assignment for you already, Nathera. This area is inhabited by four elemental tribes of water, wind, fire, earth, and earth. I said that out of order. I apologize. These are rumors of a f or there are rumors of a fifth tribe, but I believe they've moved to the jungles in the south. I wish for you to commune with their leaders. Each is wise, and you can learn much from them. I wish to work with them and study their magic. Their natural power is something that very few wizards spend lifetimes studying and striving for. Without their cooperation, it would take literally hundreds of years and millions of essences to finish my experiments. Is that all? They're just elementals. I'm half dragon. I can learn their secrets in no time. They aren't just elementals, they're forces of nature, and very powerful. You should show them the proper respect and humility. I'll find them and be back in no time, and then you can give me my magic back. Good luck, Nathera. Hello, young one, why have you come? Ryo. Ryo. I want to know about your powers. Powers, the tribe of Earth, draws its strength from time immemorial. We are the beginning and will be the end. Water will flow and dry up, air will blow and lose breath, and fire will burn out and we will still remain. 
greater than man or dragon alike. No, you're not. Dragons are more powerful than anything. <laughs> dragons have power, yes, but compared to Earth, a dragon is dust and short measure. I don't have to listen to this, you big dumb rock. I'll show you who's more powerful. Throw something. Alright, we're not hitting at a pace of 2 damage per attack now, so that's nice. And this throw thing doesn't have a cooldown or mana. 